This video will consist of two parts. The first part is an unboxing and first impressions, and the second half is a try on and more in depth review of each piece. This video is sponsored by Devil Inspired. Thank you so much Devil Inspired for your continued support of my channel. They are a company that sells Taobao products without shopping service fees, long wait times, and without the confusion of navigating Taobao. They are incredibly convenient for buying Taobao pieces outside of China. In my last Devil Inspired video, I took a long time to explain them and answer a lot of common questions I get about them. So if you have any concerns, I totally recommend you check out that video. Now, let's get started. This is a package from Devil Inspired. It's a huge blouses haul. Wait a minute. Hello, friends. It is all blouses. I wanted to get a bunch of different blouses and really experiment. The blouse that I'm wearing right now is from Devil Inspired. And these are just some different styles, some different things I wanted to try out. I really should wait for Holly to be here, but she has a really busy week. I really want to open this package, so please forgive me. I'm very impressed with how this is package. It's, it's so compact. This is many many blouses that I'm going to try in editing to make sense of what's what so that if you want to grab any of these for yourself you can. Oh I'm so excited! Even these baggies are so useful for like storing things and traveling especially for wigs these big ziploc baggies. I think that this is the Centauro princess sleeve blouse. I have the order. I believe this is the frill square neckline star shaped trumpet sleeve blouse by Centauro in pink and this blouse comes in so many different colors. I'm really impressed. Oh my goodness it's so cute. <laughs> I love princess sleeves so much this is very like elasticized and it feels really lightweight and then these little ruffly things on here can actually fully just come off and be like wrist cuffs if you want. I don't know if this would fit around my forearm so I'm thankful that it just comes off easily. I'm always impressed with Santaro's blouses. I think that Holly also got the same blouse but in a different color so we'll see that. When I saw these I was like I don't think these are gonna fit on my forearm and I'm gonna have to like cut them out but they just slip off. This okay I believe this is the diamond honey one. Yes diamond honey and it's I've been really just wanting a white princess sleeve blouse. This is kind of a crop top so you could wear this with a skirt. People sometimes say that crop tops aren't good for Lolita, but I think that, or cropped blouses. But I think that's nice because you can wear it with a skirt if you so choose, you can have it end there. It doesn't really matter underneath the JSK because no one's gonna see it. <laughs> oh, and there's like drawstring sleeves. Yes, I actually picked this shirt out because another one that I wanted was out of stock. And I'm really glad that I did. This is like a really nice light, princess sleeve blouse. I'm really into princess sleeves right now. <laughs> I think that it's just great for winter. It's so frilly. It's probably a lot of Tyler's influence on me as well. I think that this is a, I think this is something that Holly ordered. It's an Aurora Ariel blouse. Okay, it was folded up so I <laughs> couldn't tell, but this is the same brand that uh, made the blouse that I'm wearing right now. And it's Aurora and Ariel and their stuff just has so much detail on it and so much frill. I just saw these extreme sleeves and really wanted them. I have a sh I have a blouse like this already that ends kind of higher up but I think that these sleeves are longer so I feel like the lace is gonna end at my wrist rather than ending at my elbow which is gonna be a nice extra fancy look. I thought that I got more variety in blouses but I'm just a slut for princess sleeves right now. <laughs> Okay, this one is, this is also the same brand, Aurora and Ariel, and I'm really excited because this blouse is just very extra and it's blue. I really want more colored blouses. This blouse is quite extra and I think that it's going to be a little bit of a challenge for me to coordinate it, but I'm actually really excited for that. The only blue blouse I own right now is a Baby the Starshine Bright one, and surprisingly I wear it a lot because I have dresses that have blue in them and it looks nice. So I think that this would be a great winter addition because my blue blouse currently is a short sleeve one. And it seems like a very good blouse for winter. It seems like it'll be comfortable. It's so cute. Oh, okay, this is the blouse that Holly ordered. It's just a plain 
white blouse with some frills. I think she wanted this for some like old school looks and also for the off chances when she wears my sweet Lolita or cutesy clothes. She wanted to have like a go-to simple white blouse. I'm excited to see how she's gonna style that. I'm just gonna pack this up and let her experience opening it even though I've already opened it. I think these things are also for Holly. No, wait, I ordered these. Okay, hold on. She ordered some black wrist cuffs because she doesn't have any black wrist cuffs. And that's been something that's been challenging her in her coordinates. She's been trying to find things to cover her wrists. I know she'll be really excited to have these, a good staple. There's some tights. Oh, this is so pretty. So she got the exact same blouse that I did, but in a wine red. Oh, I really love this. I'm gonna also be copying this, Holly. <laughs> so beautiful and we can probably wear them together like complimentary cords it's gonna look really cute on her also holly got a similar blouse to the purple one that i got in our last devil inspired haul i've really been impressed with centauro and aurora and ariel pieces in general recently all of their blouses are incredible quality i've been really happy with them and a lot of them are available through devil inspired now let's try these on test them out and see what i can wear them with these are not complete coordinates i'm more so just trying to see which jsks and colors go with each blouse so to start i'm wearing magical princess by angelic pretty in the yellow jsk and I think this works really nicely with the blue blouse because there's blue in the print, but also gold, which complements the lace on this dress really nicely and the lace that's on the blouse. I would steer clear of dresses that have solid white lace. I think it might look a little bit odd with this blouse because of the gold lacing in it being so prominent. The shape of the blouse is quite interesting, but I really like it. The top of the sleeve is a bit fitted, but it's still not too tight and I like how the sleeve poofs out because of that. This blouse is made of cotton and feels very light. I still wouldn't wear this if you are in a constant warm climate or during the summer. This is definitely still like a spring, fall, winter blouse because even though it's light, it's still a little bit warmer. There is no shirring in this blouse, so the sizing is accurate to the listing and doesn't go any bigger or smaller. I also wanted to point out the buttons. They're really secure and smooth and so easy to do up. I found that with some of the more decorative buttons like stars, it can be really difficult. And I really like how these buttons don't really take away from the blouse. They're just very subtle and easy to do up. I'm wearing Angelic Pretty's Fancy Paper Dolls JSK. A great way to save on Lolita fashion is to invest in cheaper off-brand or Taobao blouses so you can save money for brand dresses. This of course is optional, you can totally wear all off-brand, but just a tip that I've found has helped me. When I first opened the diamond honey blouse, I felt a bit silly for getting two white princess sleeve blouses, but after trying them on, I realized that they're very different. The diamond honey sleeves are not quite as structured and they kind of taper down and lay flat when your arms are in a neutral position. I really like that you can pull the string tighter or looser and I definitely think that this will help fit more people. This blouse is less decorative but still very feminine and I think that you can wear it with a lot of variety of prints and dresses. I also like how the bottom is and would look with a skirt. This way you don't have to tuck in a blouse to a skirt and you have this nice frill just where it ends. However, I don't currently own any skirts and I also don't have any bras that wouldn't show through this. I want to look for and try that later. I think that a nude color or white bra would be good with this, but Make sure that there is no texture to the bra. All of my bras have some sort of texture and it was just not working. <laughs> this is the Aurora and Ariel blouse. And as you can see, when my arms are in a neutral position, the floof is more floofier. It's not a good way to explain it. Um, the sleeves have more of a shape. They're more shaped like a solid bell. They're the same length all around, whereas the Diamond Honey one was shorter in the front and then got longer towards the back of your arm. In this blouse, there's a lot more lacy details, and I think that it works a lot better with over-the-top lacy dresses, like this L Press L dress that I also got from Devil Inspired. This is the Centauro princess blouse and I'm wearing it with Angelic Pretty's Petite Patisserie. 
I'm still not sure if I'm saying that correctly. I used to say patisserie, which sounds more fancy, but I think is more incorrect. Y'all know I don't know French at all. Anyways, the sleeves are actually star-shaped as they mentioned in the listing. They kind of remind me of the Star of David. This is really cool and creates a beautiful drapey look across your arms without being too heavy. This blouse only comes in one size, which is kind of annoying, but it is very stretchy at the waist. I thought that the neckline would be stretchier because of how it looks, but it isn't really. It fits me nicely, but when reading the measurements for yourself, please consider that the waist can probably expand another 5 to 10 inches all around, but the neckline won't. I really love the bottom of this blouse. I accidentally tucked part of it into my petticoat here, but I would love to find a way to wear this blouse with maybe a skirt or maybe even in a non Lolita way. I think it will be challenging because of the sleeves, but I feel like I'm doing it an injustice by only wearing it with a JSK because I'm covering up how pretty the bottom is. If you have any ideas, please let me know. I got this in the light pink version, which is more of a peachy pink, and I think it looks a little bit weird with my bubblegum pink backdrop, which is why I'm also showing it against a white backdrop. I'm honestly very impressed with this blouse, and I would love to own it in more colors. The great thing about the ruffled, kind of plain neckline is that you can wear this with a multitude of different JSK neckline styles. I know in some of my fixing coordinate videos that's a struggle that some people have had is finding a blouse with a neckline that will work, so this is definitely one that you could consider. Please let me know in the comments which one of these blouses is your favorite. If you ever order from Devil Inspired, please also tag me in an Instagram story as I'd love to see what you get and share it. I think I just saw a ghost. <laughs> Also, I uh, had a weird encounter and shared a story about it when I recorded this, and it's a little bonus video on my Patreon. It's available to all patron levels. Check it out. Stay lovely.